Over in the district, public school students are also back in class and they are excited about a lot of improvements, but overshadowing that are some looming changes. And that's right. And ABC 7 Stephen Cheetah reports now on some angst over these changes that are some of the most wide ranging in decades. Public school students headed back to class in D.C., some to brand new or spruced up schools. They give the kids something to appreciate. You know, you come to a good environment. While the city is aggressively upgrading its facilities, it's also got more students to accommodate this year, more than 47,000 of them. That's surprising and it's very good. The theme for DCPS in the 2014-2015 school year apparently is bigger, more students, larger staff, and even more hours in the school day. And I think they have like an extra class or two to accommodate the time. So, I mean, that, that's good. That's good for me and good for her. A couple dozen schools will have longer days. The school system is adding teachers as well and librarians. From after, increased after school programming this year to $350,000 worth of musical instruments to more sports teams, your kids, we're not only going to develop their test scores, we're going to develop their talents as well. But as this school year gets underway, a lot of students and parents are focused on next year. The mayor recently unveiled a plan for new school boundaries. It would be okay if, if every school district had the same education, had the same kind of uh, school system in it, and it, and it doesn't. So that's, you know, I think that's why I think the boundaries doesn't work. While summer vacation is over, the debate about boundaries likely will continue for months. It promises to be a hot topic in the upcoming mayoral race. Stephen Cheetah, ABC 7 News.